Coleman and I play April Lewis in Stab for Fresh Blood. So my character, April Lewis, was Shannon Lewis's older sister and she was a good sister. Um, she was loving, nice, um, for the most part. I think if you said something about somebody that she cared about though, she would let you know. April had a boyfriend who was my boyfriend in real life as well um, at the time and the part was I think kind of written a little bit to me having no acting experience um, I think that kind of had to happen a little bit um, to make it easier for me to um, come across as more authentic I think one of my favorite parts about being in the stab movies was working with Josh he's one of my best friends and when he asked me to do it um, I was a little hesitant because I don't have acting experience but it ended up being really fun. Um, I got a couple of my friends to also do it. Um, I got my boyfriend at the time, Adam, to do the movies with us and also my friend Rihanna. Um, I got to meet new people, which was fun. It was um, a lot of laughing um, because most people were amateur acting, so um, a lot of funny moments would happen. I think one of um, the memories that I kind of forgot about and then re-remembered as I was watching the movies was how I was sitting on the stairs and I couldn't remember my lines. So I was reading my lines off of the script, so every once in a while you kind of see me looking down. Um, that's to jog my memory because I was having a really hard time that day, especially remembering my lines. Filming one of the scenes too, um, we filmed it at Josh's house. Um, it was his mother's house. So I've known Josh forever. Um, he lived there for a while um, and he wasn't living there at the time. Um, his mother was away. So we might have broken in to film some of the scenes um, and use the wonderful yard um, that she had to have a fire. Um, but that was a pretty interesting memory um, that you won't forget. <laughs> So because we were using Josh's mother's house kind of um, sporadically and within maybe a little bit of a time frame, um, there was one of the girls in my scene, Shannon, who was my sister in the movie, um, she was not present. So some of the lines I'm actually talking um, to her and she's not there. So she was edited in after, um, which was pretty interesting, but um, having so many people there, they helped me through and it was a lot of fun. So my death scene in Stab 4 was my favorite death scene to film out of the two movies that I was in. Um, because I die in my car, I got a phone call from my boyfriend and um, it was actually the killer. Um, so he tells me to drive, I get in my car and that was super fun. Um, me and Josh were in my little Corolla and we were driving up and down the street very slowly on like a dead street. Um, I can't remember exactly what street it was, but it was a lot of fun because we would drive and the killer comes from the back seat and kills me. Um, while I'm driving, I like slam on the brakes. So all of that was real. We really were driving as I was on the phone, freaking out. Um, so that was a lot of fun to film in my little Corolla. Fond memories of that car as well. Thank God Josh is one of my best friends because we did use a real knife in that scene and I had to trust him and I was driving and I'm on my phone. So things that you wouldn't think about doing now that I'm so much more mature. <laughs> but um, it, was, it was a memorable day. A lot of time spent in the car driving slowly back and forth and back and forth. So I enjoyed that a lot after I finished um, filming part of my scene, kind of all the way up until uh, the death scene. I filmed that night at Josh's mother's house and uh, the filming continued and I hung around and that was really cool to see. Not only was I like having that relief of, all right, my part's over, I get to enjoy and watch everybody else. It was um, pretty interesting because there were a lot of people um, forgetting lines or doing amazing at lines, um, a lot of people meeting each other for the first time or people that knew each other already. Um, I remember at one point all the girls were crammed into the bathroom doing like hair and makeup in there together so that was fun. The night at, um, at Josh's mom, the scene with the bonfire, um, that went well into the night which was exhausting. There was another scene that I was in um, where I, there was a pile of bodies and um, so we had to have makeup done um, 
and I don't remember a ton about that night, but um, I do remember having to lay there super still, you know, don't breathe, don't let your stomach move, all of that kind of stuff. So hopefully you guys all think it came out good. Hi, I'm Laura Coleman and I played a pretty close version of myself in Stab 6. I was not in Stab 5, but I, uh, I was able to be in Stab 6. I had a lot going on in my life around that time, and um, so Josh offered me to be the opening kill. Um, I ended up being the second to die, um, but it was a pretty fun scene to film. I was able to do it at my home, and that's always the best. Um, very comfortable. Got anything I could need there. Um, what wasn't comfortable was part of that scene. I did um, run up into the attic. Uh, the attic has always creeped me out um, and that day was no exception. I was like, seriously, run up there. But um, yep, yeah, it, it definitely was the best thing to do. Not that I personally would run up the stairs. I would probably run outside if it was me. That's why it's a version of myself. But um, it was a really fun day. Um, so the opening scene, um, Adam and I are in our living room um, and we're discussing, we're watching a stab movie. Um, I think it was our anniversary in the movie that day. Um, so we're talking about that and I get a phone call um, and it was the creepy voice, um, the killer. Um, Adam, his lines that day were um, definitely <laughs> challenging for him. Um, it was a lot of fun though overall I think. Um, a lot of laughs, a lot of retake, retake, retake. So probably all my laughter at him having to retake his lines over that might have jinxed me a little bit because I had to go up into that attic and out of that attic and up in the attic and out of the attic um, like a bazillion times because I would come around the corner I would look straight at the camera. It was like over and over. I don't know why I couldn't get it through my head. I'd come around like, where's the camera? Um, so if that wasn't bad enough, part of the reason I was looking for the camera all the time was because the camera was kind of moving around trying to get the best angle. And um, there was a couple times I came out and the camera was here, I was down here. Um, so <laughs> it was um, into the attic, out of the attic, into the attic, out of the attic. Um, so that was, that was pretty funny. So I think um, between me and Adam, we it took a little bit of time to film that scene, but it was a lot of fun. I think it came out really good. In the Stab 6 movie, I am a version of myself not having a lot of acting ex experience. Uh, once again, Josh did write the scene to match my life um, as closely as he could. I do think I come across maybe a little more bitchy in the movie, um, and so I had to kind of reach outside of my comfort zone um, not for the bitchiness, I mean, I can handle that, but I think for the um, the death scene, uh, I had to scream and wiggle around and just be really, like, um, not outgoing, but more extroverted than my natural self at the time. Um, so those stairs in that scene where I died, those stairs were literally, like, angled just straight up. Um, so in that way, I think, could have been easier or harder. You definitely don't want to fall down the stairs. And we got two people struggling and my screaming. I mean, I rewatched that screaming. It's interesting to say the least. It's not, it's not my favorite. Um, but it was, it was a lot of fun to um, film that. And um, Josh had to basically tell me exactly what to do um, as far as how to move and um, the knife placement, everything like that. Um, he had to really walk me through that. So even though I had my lines down, where I was looking, where I was placing my body, what exactly I was doing with myself, um, I needed some help with that. But overall, it was a lot of fun. I'm glad that it was at my house. I'm glad that I was able to be part of it. Uh, really enjoyed filming with Josh. One of my favorite parts about filming that opening scene was after Adam dies, the killer comes at me and I flip him over me on the couch. So that was, I think, a really cool idea and a lot of fun.
So we filmed um, a couple of scenes at my house actually, um, or a couple different days I should say. We did my dust scene in the evening um, and then Josh and the crew and some new actors and actresses came over the next day to do some filming of the crime scene. Um, and outside, I was... I was laughing, but Josh was losing his patience a little bit. There was a lot of background noise. Um, we would like scan the road. This is a main street that I lived on in Newmarket, New Hampshire. We would look and we'd be like, okay, there's no cars coming. Go, like now, like go, go, go. Like there was no time to be like, okay, let me, you know, what am I gonna say? What am I gonna do? The um, actors and actresses really had to be like, okay, go, and hope that a car didn't drive by. Chances are a car was going to drive by and that happened over and over and over. I think the final cut that made it in, there were cars driving by. <laughs> um, but you were able to hear everybody uh, just fine, but that was pretty fun. <laughs>